Hey YouTube, how do you fucking do? Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I've got a UU -U battle for you guys this time. And it's really interesting because um, I was doing terribly at UU -U when I was starting out. You know, it's been six months since I've been away and... Um, and Pokemon is not like riding a bicycle. You, you really do forget some stuff. So, uh, yeah. I was not doing that great at all. I got 4-0 losses, 5-0 losses, hell, even some 6-0 losses. Well, in this battle, I do pretty well, so... I'm pretty much going to play it for you guys right now, and let's go over the battle. Yoink! Okay, so, here he leads off with his Ambipom, and I lead off with my Crobat. I saw in the team preview that he had an Ambipom, so I switched out to Crobat, so, um... I could, uh... prevent the fake out with Inner Focus. Because inner focus, so Crobat doesn't flinch ever. So yeah, I roost off the damage from his fake out. He goes for the U-turn, and he decides to switch on to Slowbro. Now there's not much that Crobat can do to Slowbro. I suppose I could Super Fang it, but um, I risk taking damage from a Psychic type attack. So I go for Taunt just to stop him from any from using any recovery or stat boosting moves, and he goes for Calm Mind, so that tells me that this is an offensive slow bro. Alright, so I bring in Kilrathi, my Raikou, because of uh, slow bro's low special defense and electric type weakness. He goes for Psychic Shock, or Psy Shock, excuse me, and um, he decides to switch out of there and go into Amplifom again. I go for the Calm Mind on the switch, just to boost my special attack and special defense, stuff. <laughs> Alright, so he goes for a fake out. I flinch. You know, you know how it goes. The next turn, before he can U-turn out, I extra sensory ammo palm, and ammo palm is out of the game, which is good because um, ammo palms are kind of annoying. And when he brings up Darmanitan, I thought I would be faster than this thing, but he goes for the U-turn first. So that tells me that he's scarfed. This is a scarfed Darmanitan. So bye bye, Kilrathi. You will be missed. So, anyways, he brings out a Zelf. And I bring out my Weavile. Now he bails the fuck out of there and goes into Slowbro. I go for the Swords Dance. I'm not sure why he picked Slowbro. Probably because he thought that uh, Slowbro's high physical defense could take an attack from Weavile. But it does not. So. Night Slash takes out Slowbro in a single hit, no crit or anything. Now he brings out Darmanitan. Now I know that Darmanitan is faster now thanks to his scarf, so I decided to bring out Slowbro to take out that to take on that Flare Blitz. So yeah, Slowbro takes that Flare Blitz like a champ. And he basically switches out into his Zelf. I go for the Thunder Wave on the Switch, so now his elf is paralyzed. So yeah, I keep... This is kind of one of the more boring parts of the match. I basically just scald um, his elf to death. So yeah, not much interesting here. Not, much, not, uh, in, not anything terribly interesting here. I just keep going for scald. He goes for Grass Knot, take his, takes out my Slowbro. Which is kind of bad because um, Darmanitan's, Darmanitan is still running around. But um, now he brings out Darmanitan again. This thing is really proving to be a thorn on my side. I sent out Crobat. Now um, this is kind of a bad matchup, so I decided to send out Rhyperior to take the Flare Blitz. And he does take the Flare Blitz like a champ. So now he brings out Zapdos, and I go for the Rock Polish on the Switch just to get Rhyperior speed up. Yeah, this is a Rock Polish Rhyperior set. I'm not sure what set this Zapdos is, but it doesn't really matter because uh, Stone Edge takes it out in a single hit. So it's not a physically defensive Zapdos, at least. So now he brings out Porygon 2. I basically go for Earthquake on the next turn. Does 
less than half. And he goes for Ice Beam and takes me out. This is probably the, your standard Porygon 2 set, most likely with Eevee Light boosted its incredible attacks. And I bring out my own Darmanitan. I forgot I had him. <laughs> and uh, I Flare Blitz Porygon to death. And now it's Darmanitan on Darmanitan. Now, I'm really predicting some sort of Earthquake type attack or something, so I switch out to Crobat. But he goes for Flare Blitz, and I'm like, what? Why'd you go for Flare Blitz on Darmanitan? Maybe he was predicting I'd switch. I don't know. So anyways, I bring out Darmanitan again, since I know he's locked into Flare Blitz. Flare Blitz does not take me out. And I go for the Earthquake, and that is game. So, good job, uh, Mr. Cook. You did pretty well. Knocked me down to two pokes, but then again, I'm not very good at UU, so. <laughs> oh well, you still did great. You did great. Alright, so basically, that's the end of the battle. Rate, comment, subscribe, do whatever you guys do. Don't be a stranger now. See ya. Bye.